Titus and Lennon. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to want you to pull that Thank mic you. off for me so we can get right in this conversation. And I'm going to put this behind. Yes, I did that. The floor <laughs> director right now saying, what is that girl doing this time? <laughs> but I want to be able to really talk to you. Yeah. I, I want you to tell us about your CD and how God birthed this inside of you. You know, we've heard some wonderful music tonight, and everybody has been connected with this relationship to Christ Jesus. And relationship with Christ Jesus gets us to the Father God. But talk to us about what it is like to, to come from uh, where God has brought you particularly to get to this piece of music. Uh, well, well, for me, I, I grew up around music. Mm -hmm. I have ten brothers and sisters. Yeah, I read that. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Uh, well, my grandma has seventeen, so oh, praise it the just Lord. runs How in the. <laughs> it runs in the family. Yeah, but um, I was I was afraid of music. I I was the uh, the odd child, I guess, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um, my dad used to work with my sisters mm -hmm. and sing with them, but I, I didn't I didn't mess around with the music mostly because of my relationship with my father. He was one of them old school, don't show affection type of dads. And, you know, so you seek that. But after he died in 2004, that's when God really put me in there. Mm. Like, I, I couldn't even, I couldn't plan it. Because I was saying no. Mm. And he was saying yes. <laughs> and I was still saying no. And he said, I'm going to have a relationship with you, boy. <laughs> he, that's how I connected with my dad. But then eventually it turned into to a connection with God. Amen. Amen. You know, so I kind of fell into uh into place with that and uh, and and even now he still you know talks to me because th just last year i will i would go up to some you know place i gotta sing mm -hmm. and i'll I just look out and say god you tripping <laughs> now i mean i'm talking like he a regular person you know i'm, I'm from jersey and i'm just like like you tripping like i'm the shy one and my whole Why family i'm the shy one you pick the, i got a brother who will get up here and dance his butt off i'm the shy one why are you why picking you got me, me Lord? You know what I'm saying? But I read something, and it said God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. That's it. That's it. So I guess I'm, I just, he just needs you to step into the ring. Yes. And then he'll, he'll finish the rest. Yes. And he, he already knew where he had you. You just didn't know. You I, just didn't know. <laughs> but no it, 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 it took making that trek to a relationship with him through all of the things that have gone on through your life, through all of the relationship within a big family, you're not lacking somebody to talk to. <laughs> but the true conversation was with the Father God who made you, who orchestrated every move that you would make. Exactly. When you take a look at this great orchestration of your life and how God has done what he's done in your life and the passing of your dad and the fact that you do, you're the quietest one out of all this ten family. And I'm, then, the loud, I'm, I'm the loud one if you want to debate on maybe Lakers or something. <laughs> but when it comes to singing, you're in the back. I'm in the back. You know, that's, that's where I was at when the singing. You know. so, so when God said, <laughs> and that's what it was. That, that, that's exactly what it was. When, when, I, when I finally said, okay, well, let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what, you know. Then I found this uh, contest uh, ran by Gwen Covington and Will Covington of mm -hmm. Entertainment Galore. And so I go up there and I'm like, okay, let me see what this is about. And I, I'm looking at the room and I'm, I'm like on the phone, like I'm not walking in that door. And I drove two hours. But I'm just like that. I was like, I'm going to turn around. Wow. But I walked in. And that changed everything. Mm. You know. And from that moment to this, then you come out with this CD, yeah. and, and, you, and you, you move out of the way so that God might be seen to people that may not have seen him in this light before. Yeah. What would you say to someone who is having that same turmoil inside of them? I can't do this. I can't approach this contest. I can't be in front of people. I'm, I'm, I am the least of these. I know what God said about the least of these, but I am the least of these. And, and, and I just want to stay right here where it's safe. What do you say to that person? Well, I, I say that, you know, God doesn't need you to fully say yes. Sometimes he just needs you to stop saying no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Amen. So some people, they say no, they don't realize. They don't even just go inside the church. He don't need you to go in there and be perfect. Just walk in there and the next Sunday go in there and the next Sunday. So be consistent. Just, just, do, just step into the ring because he'll mm. start making you, you change. Mm. He'll change the way you actually approach it. Mm. First, you had a personal, 
a personal goal. Like my personal goal was connect with my dad because he sang. I'm like, you know, it just felt like a connection. But then it turned into something more. So he said, you can have your personal reason and we're going to go through this process so you can finally come align with what I have for you. Tell people how to get in touch with you, what the name of the CD is and how they can get in touch with you. Uh, the CD is Chose, Chosen Vessel. And uh, I have my website is www.tituslennon.com, my name. Uh, same with my social networking, Facebook.com, backslash Titus Lennon, Twitter, Titus. <laughs> Why is everybody laughing? Because I said Twitty. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm on the same page with you. I just got that Twitter yeah, account. I just got it, and I'm, I'm just like, like, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like, like the uh, other gentleman said, Social networking, you have to use it to your advantage for the it. kingdom at the end of the day. Amen. Well, I'm going to step out and let you do your thing, and, and I just want to thank you for being here. It is, it is an awesome, awesome thing, and we're, we're going to allow you to sing it up for our dad. It's the close of the program. You got it. He's anointed you for this very time. God bless you all.